so to speak, wave of uh, Splatoon. You know, pun not intended. But uh, this game is really fun. This game is really fun. So, if you've never seen ARMS or just don't remember, uh, this is it. It's, uh, it's a weird boxing game, basically, where you can customize and change the way you can attack in battle. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. I think Punch-Out always just remember, remained in kind of a consciousness. Because you had, um, what's it called? You had uh, the the sequel of sorts that got ported to um, the SNES and stuff like that. In any case, uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of versus just to remember how to play because I I've changed my control scheme a little bit because this is my new control scheme because Gar was on like pushing the stick for whatever reason which is stupid, but um, that's neither here nor there. So our characters are Springman, Ribbon Girl, Ninjara. Master Mummy, Min Min, Mechanica, Twintel, Bite and Bark, Kid Cobra, Helix, Max Brass, Lola Pop, Misango, Springtron, and Dr. Coil. Uh, I don't know if I have a favorite one, but I know my least favorite is Springtron. I tried fighting Springtron earlier, and dude's got moves. Dude's got moves. But I like Min Min probably the best. Trans rights color. Let's go. We in there. Alright. Uh, let's do it. So every character has their own unique strengths and weaknesses. Min Min specifically has a, a very interesting ability, which I'll show off post haste. I like Twin Tail, but she's also in that like Nintendo camp. And what I mean by that is there are certain Nintendo characters who are just like specifically like characters of color who are absurdly like hornily designed and I hate it. So, so, Min Min's whole deal is that she can kick arms down or repel them when she dashes forward or back. And, most notably, when she charges, her left arm becomes a dragon, and it always has a charge. And when certain special weapons are charged, they have special different abilities. Like, the Sparky here gets a constant electrical effect, which can stun your opponent and make them drop their guard, leaving them open for a grab. But if you get knocked down, it comes back down, so... Ooh. Ribbon Girl, on the other hand, has the ability to jump multiple times in midair. As you can see there. Ooh. I, I like the character designs. I like the world building. I love the fact that it's a giant sport. Like, this weird thing that's happened so much being liberal, like, you know what? We can make a sport out of this. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, there's also like absurd amounts of lore. Like there's even a lore thing that says Twin Tail might not actually have the arms gene, despite having the the uh, the, the spiral eyes, which is interesting. Oh god. Ah. Yeah, I do like that she's a noodle, noodle dragon. Get punched. Decked, laid out. Uh, I really like the Sparky. Um. Probably not tonight. I might do it later, but uh, I, I want to like I just want to show this game off really because I want to because I'm gonna probably play it this weekend. I might actually do it on Friday. We're gonna have a game where we can all play some arms because I, I right now I'm more excited at getting to um, Link Between Worlds and Animal Crossing. But I will do some party stuff soon enough. I assure you. I arms is very good. Honestly, like, a, a video game Olympics to take its place would be kind of sick. That'd be kind of sick. Like, at least for this year, that'd be stupid. I don't think I could punch it. <laughs> there we go. The yellow gauge that I have glowing right there is my rush gauge, which basically is a fighting game super. It builds, it builds, and builds, and you can do, like, a, a, a series of rush punches. Bam! Oh, I forgot to mention, Min Min's uh, arm also goes into dragon automatically when she gets a grab which is also fun to remember Woo! can't punch me oh no I'm slippery like a noodle just let me punch you just let me punch you ah! <laughs> oh 
Ooh. One problem about the slap amanda is that they're really good because they're really long range. Long range arms are pretty good for certain certain um, events as well. You don't you, you don't just punch in this game. You also have um, what's it called? You have um, ball. You have volleyball. And you have uh, basketball, and I love it. It's super good. This game is really 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 cool. So I want to show it off. It's free right now. So if you want to like try it out, it's it's very much worth your while. In any case. Grand Prix mode, let's go! I've beaten the with most characters, not counting Mechanica, Bite and Bark, Max Brass, or any of these new characters that came out relatively recently, because I've been, I've been mostly focused on playing um, other games, <laughs> unfortunately. Which is a shame, because this game is really good! I, I feel bad that I'm, like, not paying attention to this game probably as much as it deserves. Uh, let's do it! Let's go here. Mm, yeah, let's go here. We in there. Yeah, I was in a... I was at one of my uh, family members' house for Thanksgiving. And I literally had to crane my head over to the TV. Because Smash 4 was being played on ESPN. And I'm like, what? Who? Hey, Biff. I like Biff. <laughs> Wait, unimportant 18. Min Min's cool. I, I really like Min Min. Nintendo Noodle House. Get the fuck. <laughs> Esports is what I wouldn't like. I wouldn't mind like being good enough at fighting games to go to Evo, but like, oh. I'm not super great at fighting games. I would like to be better, but I do have a kind of an understanding. I I feel like I, I'm at least able enough to fight against people who are way better than me and beat them because I've uh, I have kind of a, a rival with a friend of mine, Val VZM. Who's very good at fighting games? <laughs> Let's go. We in there? All right. So I'll go with two Sparkies. So also the way arms are unlocked depends, because you can either get them from a mini game that you can get by uh, getting enough coins, or by um, unlocking them all for tournament mode. Arms lore is ridiculous. It's really weird. Because the arms gene just kind of is this weird thing that occurs in like... No, it's it's a weird gene people have. And it's not just... And they get it from either waking up with it one day, or from just getting it from birth. Because Kid Grober gets it from birth. But like, some people just wake up with it. Bam! And I think the uh, the arms are just like weird boxing gloves that are kind of just like augmented by their by their sick noodle arms. Yeah, and they're just kind of cool with it. One thing that I like, um, I had an idea about some arms lore when I was first like really big into it before I got distracted by like Splatoon and all that stuff. Was the fact that why they were why they more masks? I thought it might have been because it helps them control their arms, and sure enough, it does. That's lore. Get out of here. Back off. No. No healing. No healing. No healing. Bam. It's pretty cool. I also love that uh, Kid Cobra is a live streamer. And like this weird like skateboarder. It's sick. No, he's, he's a snake boarder. That's what he is. He's a snake boarder. Perfect. Hell yeah. I'm getting acclimated to arms. It kind of is. Also, this is uh, me also preparing for a fighting game uh, get together. I'm gonna have a couple of friends later this weekend. I just, I got it. I love the aesthetic of arms. It's so cool. Match two, ready for seconds. It's Min Min versus the bouncer, Springman. His body emits a shockwave that can knock down opponent's arms. But the real shock is gonna be when you kick one of his punches right out of the air, Min Min. Yeah. It's so good. Springtron, I, I, I like Springman. She was like the first character I think I really liked. Cause I, I don't know, something about me, I'm like, haha, easy, funny Ryu character. But like, I don't know, I, I, I like Springman. I think he's got a lot of moxie. But I think his best appearance when he was in um, 
Presumably it was in Mega Man 7. That was pretty sick. He does look like Akra Fresh. He does look like Akra. Whoa! <laughs> Toothpaste man. Cold gate. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Oh. Oh. Also, this game has hazards. Watch out for him. The Danguis. Also, when you see Springman glowing like that, like that, that's when he has um unlimited uh, charges. Bam. All right. Whoop. Whoop. Ooh. Hey. Whoop. Hey. Whoop. 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 Oh. Oh. No. Let me hit you. There we go. So Sparkies are kind of broken. <laughs> They're really broken. So I think it's like an arms tier list. I'm gonna go with uh, two fun chucks this time. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm I kind of, I like using the Sparkies, but like, you can, you can mix and match them to your leisure. But I just, you know, the three that you have. But I, I, I like using the Sparkies because they're fun. I think these can block uh, attacks coming at me, which is pretty slick. Yeah, let's look at that. Whoa. Sure you can. Bow. Get out of here. What are you trying to do, man? Oh, God. Oh, no. Bow. I love this game so much. I played it, I think, on launch almost when it first came out. I haven't played it in like forever. I forgot how fun and frantic this game was. Ooh, whoop. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. That is how you do it. Whoop! No! Oh god! Oh, it, it's fun to mix and match, but like if you keep going with like two at the same time, it might be a blessing or a curse. So I'm gonna go with a. Uh, let's go with two roasters. So this is a this might be a bad idea because roasters don't home automatically. You gotta aim them, but they do do more damage. Haha, <laughs> do do. Ooh, look at that knockdown. So you can knock down opponent's arms. Whoop. Come on. Also, just I remember the trailer for arms too is one of the reasons I really wanted to pick this game up. Because that trailer is sick. Everything about it is so cool. It's trying to block. Who even blocks? I do, apparently. Pow! Yeah, boy. What? Ooh! Cold cocked. I hope Arms 2 does come out, because this game is really cool. I think it deserves a lot more play. That's why I'm glad they're getting a character in the game. Who, I'm not sure who's gonna be. Part of me wanted to be Twin Tail, but like, oh god. Oh, here we have a mini game. God, Kid Cobra's so cool. Match three, bowl him over. Let's switch it up and play some skill shot. You play by smashing targets as they fly by. The more targets you can destroy in a row, the more points you can score. Your opponent will be smashing targets too, so watch out for incoming punches. Whoever racks up the highest score before time runs out wins. Okay, let's see what you got. Real, I'd love to see that. That would be sick. Okay, so I'll go with two fun chucks. Because they have a lot of... uh. They have a lot of range. I would have been better if I had a, uh, if I had a, what's it called? If I had, like, a, uh, a multi-target, a multi-shot one, like the one that, um, Kid Cobra has over there. But I forgot about this. Because I'm, I'm already getting worked. Oh, no. This is bad. This is very bad. The, the startup is killing me. The startup is killing me. Oh god, I'm gonna lose. 
I'm super gonna lose. Yes, twice my points! Yeah, I'm, I'm cooked. I'm done. It's over. Unless a miracle happens, but low chance of that happening, because, yep, I lost. Big time. I needed a multi-shot arms. God, he's so cool. Okay. Sparkies it is. Not ideal, but faster. There we go. Tie game. Oh, I still have swipes my points, though. Yeah, I might be hosed here, because I don't have a, a good arm for this. Because that, that spread helps you out more than you think. Like, tremendously. Oh, but I've tied it up, and I'm coming to the lead. We in there. May not be done yet. <gasps> ah! That comeback! Disgusting! Oh! Oh! Clutch! Multi-shot is for scrubs, but it's also good for this game. Like, this one specifically. Like, this minigame. But not for much else. Hey! Hey, as long as it works, you know? <laughs> Round four. God, Master... Uh, every character design in this game is so cool, except for Twintel. It's a member of the Grim Creeper, Master Mummy. Apparently, there's a mummy hospital somewhere around here. As for Master Mummy's long-lost family, I have no idea where to find them. Yeah, that's his entire thing. He's looking for his family. Gotta find my family! Oh, God. So, Master Mummy has super armor, and, uh... His stage is really cool. Because uh, there's a trampoline. Also, uh, his guard, kind of, uh, kind of, like, ridiculous. Because he heals. He heals. He can heal. Back off. Oh, no. Woo! Oh, God. This, this. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm gonna- I'm- I'm cooked. I'm cooked. I'm hosed. Oh god. Super armor is disgusting. Yeah. <gasps> oh! Bam! Oh, I might not be dead yet. I might not be dead yet. Oh, oh! Damn it! <laughs> Shit. That sucked. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> oh. Okay. Gotta remember to use my uh, air move because it is very good. Oh god. Say so he heals, which is evil. <gasps> Yeah, I'm, this is, this is, this is, that's a, that's a death for me. That's a death for me. Unless a healing thing comes around, which hasn't shown up yet, and I don't think it will. Whoa! Ooh. That bird, that bird, real good. God, he's rad. Everything about Master Mummy is the coolest. No, you don't! Woo! Bat! See, I should have been using uh, a toaster because, uh, or like the, the uh, roaster is one of the ones I have because um, firearms always get a knockdown when they're fully charged. Always. It's their special trait. Electric arms stun, poison arms poison. Oh god, those are just like big boys, and they can block shots because they're so strong. 
They were like, the electric version of that was one of the ones I used a lot, they were pretty good. There we go. Remember, kids, when you're in a fighting game and you're fighting the grappler, remember, always use grabs. It doesn't matter if they have a bigger grab, you will win. That's, that's how you play a video game. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. I mean, to aim. Oh, boy. Bam. Okay. Watch out. Woo! Oh, yeah. Stun. Bam, and whoop, got him. Yeah, uh, which is, the oh right, uh, Misang, Hisango. I always want to say Misango, like missing no, but it's, that's his name is Hisango. Who's next? Ninjara is cool. I really liked Ninjara when I was playing this game to begin with, because he has a, he has a teleport when he dodges. Remember, it's the students of Ninjara. Some looks like to themselves ninjas, but have no credentials. Our boy Ninjara went to Ninja College. But no amount of study can prepare a fighter for, to face noodles. Go for the win, Min Min. With pleasure. Yeah. Then again, Ninjala. I can't really play Ninjala. It looks kind of fun. When it comes out, I'm probably going to do a stream of it, because it looks... Yeah, that's why when he blocks... He like takes no damage because he uh he always teleports away. Whoop! <laughs> nice try. <laughs> Whoop! Oh! It is I who am getting worked. Woo! Oh, uh, that's when you hold down your dash button. You charge by either dashing or if you're playing, or you can do it by blocking as well. Oh, this was a mistake. A mistake. You know, to do it by uh, doing a grab of certain characters or um, just um, dashing, like so. Or you can block. Yeah, like that. <gasps> Woo! No! Oh, God. I should have I should have kicked that one down. Yeah, I'm dead. Hey. This is gonna be a deep cut reference, but... This is gonna be a really deep cut reference. But do you think Ninjara graduated from Shuriken School? <laughs> deep cut reference. Let's go. Oh god. Also, if you target an opponent's arms, they can uh, go stunned without, like, you having an electric arm. This one, good to know. Good to remember. Shit. Come on. Whoa. Ah, oh, man! Gra grabs are, like, easy to break in this game. You gotta just punch. But it's hard to tell when they're gonna come out. Come on. Yes! Pow! Ooh, nice try, Ninjara. Nice try. Not gonna get past... Me. Get that weak mess out of here. Alright. Oh, 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 oh. Dodge, dodge. Ah, damn it! Ah, right, okay, so every time he's gonna dodge, you're gonna grab. Okay. That's his pattern. Pow. Whoop! Oh god, 
god, that's so much damage. Mm. Oh god. I thought it would hit me. I guess it didn't, surprisingly. Give me this. No! Oh god, and they explode, and they explode. Oh! Ha! Mistakes were made by you! Whew. A lot of characters have different, like, attributes on their dodges, too. Which is important to remember. Or playing, uh, volleyball. Hello, Twintel. Match six. Don't ever do it. Let's change it up and play some V-Ball. The rules are simple. Hit the ball over the net. Oh, and the ball will explode after a bit, so watch out for that. First to five points wins. Now get out there and show some hustle. Oh, thank God it's one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, so I really like this game, but it has probably the most, like, bizarre manner of, like, 2v2s I've ever seen. Where, like, they're, you're tethered together with your, uh, teammate. Oh. No, go. <gasps> Shit! Oh, God. Everyone can do that. That's a, that's a universal move. So grabs in this game work to set up the ball, then you spike it. Also, be careful, because this game has very bizarre, like, everything. This one specifically. Because, um... If, if time runs out and nobody, uh, and, uh, the ball is just in the air, it'll fall on somebody's side randomly. Or it'll just fall where it, where it is currently. Like so, but I win. That wasn't so bad. That game can get really annoying on higher difficulties. Match 7. Who's it gonna be? Oh, good. Beat up some... Uh, this is difficulty 4. It's like mid-road. Match 7. Now we're cooking. It's mid versus the Clockwork Cops. Bite and bark. They keep the peace here on Buster Beach. The sea breeze helps wind up their gear so they never have to take a break. Wow. Speed up some Robocops. Woo! Oh, God. Also, watch out, because Bark does do that. Bark will attack you. Uh, Bark attacks, like, autonomously from the opponent, or if you're going to play them. And comes to the rescue. Ha! Eat that, robot. <gasps> no! Oh, yeah, I got him. But at what cost? Also, Bark, Bite can do that. Bark can do that as well. I'm not sure which one is Bite and which one. I guess, I guess Bite is the robot and Bark is the dog. But yeah, Bark, um... Bite will also can jump off of Bark for a boost. Oh, you did! Huh. I, I, I mostly... I, Robocop is one of those movies that's just... I don't know. I don't know if I prefer it more or less to, um, Terminator. You know what I mean? Which one's the dogs I meant to say? Yeah, that's, uh, that's the new one. That's the, uh, re that's the remake they made. Which I still haven't seen yet, except for that scene. That's the only thing I'm, I'm ever gonna see. And, you know, I'm gonna keep it that way. Shoulda blocked! Oh my god! I should really give myself a second block button. Bam! All right. No cops in the Grand Prix! Ugh. That's surprising given how gory the original one was. 
Because Vision Emblem was super messed up. Like, someone gets, like, splatted. Oh, I, I, I guess I must have forgot about that. Or I'm just afraid of doing it. Because I, I just, I, I want to, I want to do it when I have, like, an opportunity. Like, I'm playing, a, like, a real fighting game super. Like, like a traditional one, not like a 3D one. That's what I'm trying to say. DNA man! Yeah, I love Helix. Helix is so dumb. Ratchet, ready to boil. It's a member of the man of mystery, Helix. His nebulous blob-like shape can reach a maximum height of 2.5 meters. That slippery bite can be hard to hit. Don't let it act your fiery temper, Min Min. Man, Helix is cool. Whoa! So Min- Oh god. And the Blobber? Oh god. Flubber battle. Ah! This is eight, actually. This is number eight. Bam! This music sounds like uh, Vince, what's his name, from uh, the Transformer soundtrack. That's what it sounds like to me. Yeah, I, I hate that. It's kind of not the worst thing about on a game like Mario Kart, where it's just basically doesn't mean anything. That's the other reason I want to like spam uh, my super because I like lose it. If they block. Oh, come on! I really use my uh, my my air dash ability too. Oh, oh yeah, I win. He looks is really fun. Flubber ass. Hey, listen, is that that or risk losing? There's a dragon, or I think it's the ice dragon. I forget what it's called, but I know it's uh, it's a pretty good arm. Mimin has that as one of her defaults. I think her defaults are um, the dragon, the chakram, and something else. Whoa! Listen, I play to win. I love that, I love that, um, Helix doesn't exactly jump. Helix just stretches, and I love that about Helix. Helix is such a fun weirdo for this game. Yeah, I'm cooked, I'm cooked. Oh, God. Bam. Pow. Play it, entertain us. Listen. I try my best, okay? I try my best. Try my best. Yeah, it really is. I love that they're actually mass produced. He looks mass produced. Oh, it's Misango. I thought it, I thought it was Hisango. It's Misango. Match nine. Check please. It's Minun versus the sprite bearded fighter Misango. This powerful fighter draws strength from his multicolored mask slash woman sprite companion. Minun has her own mystical talents as she's able to call upon the power of the dragon. I've been waiting a long time for these two fighters to meet. Let's see what unfolds. Listen. Listen. My memory, bad. Okay? Misango is really cool. Whoop! However, these arms kind of suck. Ugh. Poison. I think that works like poison in um in KI where you have to like get a knockdown for to like cash out on damage, but I could be wrong about that. Hell yeah, bro. Bam! It reminds me of Star Platinum visually. 
Just like the, the jawline and everything. I just compared to probably made like the minute the character came out. Also, it's really not exactly a good way of choosing what what uh, mask you get. Yeah, I get lobbed through the, the the platform, dingus. Oh, come on. Ba -ba 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 Bam! <gasps> Woo! Ba -ba 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 Bam! Yeah, you were right, Boo Boo. He does block a lot. Yeah, his whole game plan is revolves around his mask, so he is a guy some more technical character. He does look really cool, though. I, I love the way he looks. Listen. <gasps> if they didn't want it destroyed, they should have made it a fighting arena! You know? We didn't decide on this. This is a this is a cultural site they were using for for battle. For I for I will for our for for our sport. Pow. Is Masang is Masango bad? I think Masango is pretty cool, but like. I guess when it comes to sheer abilities, like, Ribbon Girl has a good one, Min Min has a really good one, um... I'm not sure there's actually an ARMS tier list, all things considered, but I'm be surprised if there was one. Like, honestly. Pow! Guard Crush! Astro Crush! Oh no! <gasps> no! I was so close! <laughs> Ignore me. I think anybody who's normal in this game is probably Springman, but I, I guess he kind of fits that weird mold. No, you don't. Woo. Oh, God. God, he really does love to block. No, you don't. God, he's got so much health. Oh. No, you don't. <gasps> no. Yes. Get out of here. Now it's time for the epic champion of the Arms League. God, this guy has the stupidest outfit ever. I love it. Listen to that crowd. The fans are fired up. It's Min Min versus the Kamish, Max Brass. The setting sun is casting its last light upon these fighters as they say, yes, this is it. Our girl from the ramen shop has, gets her shot at the top. Gets her shot at the top spot. One win to go, Min Min. We in there. So like, I love Max Brass. He looks like a he looks like a fighting game Pokemon, like a not a fighting type Pokemon trainer. He's also Lord Humongous. Real. Oh God. He does with a crimson chin. Also, like, a lot of his- I think every one of his arms, except for his like, No, it's like, two of his three arms have explosion properties. So, you can punch them to do that. Which is good to remember. <gasps> Fug. So, when he charges his arms, 
make sure to wallop him. Aim at his arms before, like, aiming at the body. Sometimes. Ba -ba 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 Bam! Okay. Also, he has a Spring Man's I'm, I'm in hyper mode now ability. Oh, no. Okay, we alive. We live in. Ho! Oh. Punched! Alright. I'm around to go. <laughs> I saw the guard the minute I decided to bring it out. Whoop! Also, a good thing is that his arms aren't, like, aimed. You can aim them, but, like, they're not, like, homing automatically. Like, uh, you can see that my arms home. It's like that. Oh, wait, hey, T is playing arms. <laughs> Whoop. 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 Gotcha. Pow. Oh, no. I said I'm afraid of doing it, because that happens. <gasps> yes! Oh, get thrown! Hell yeah, bro! Ah! <laughs> yeah, basically, uh, he's the Akuma to, to uh, Springman's Ryu, essentially. Or maybe his Goken? Mm. Don't worry about it. This analogy, kind of poor. And we're done! Hit the bricks, pal, you're done! Or is he? Can it be? Has someone finally taken down THE Max Brass? Ladies and gents, the winner today! What? Up in the sky, what is that thing? It's- it's glommed on the Max's head! Kamish, somebody help him! Headmasters. Uh-oh, I think this guy's looking for a fight. We're gonna, take, we're gonna take care of this creep. So yeah, he's headmaster. It's headlock. Geodude looking ass. What a turn of events! Victory is all but assured, but now there's a party crasher to deal with. I'm still wrapping my head around this, but it looks like we're in for a treat. Come on, Min Min, use your noodle and find a way to cook this kook! This is pretty tight. Oh no! Okay. So he has got six arms. So he's pretty tough! Oh! He also has like a different super. What do you need to watch out for? Because it's a projectile. It's a straight up projectile. Back off. Oh, I don't think he gets stunned. Oh, he does get stunned. But not for long. Oh, no. Oh, no! See that? And it does so much damage. Oh, God. Headlock is crazy. I forgot how nuts this boss was. Oh my god.
Come on. Just gotta keep wailing on him. Keep him at a distance. Or maybe not. <gasps> no! Oh yeah, I'm cooked. This is hard. This is actually really hard. Come on. <gasps> no! Oh man! I'm alive! Somehow! <gasps> oh! Woo! That was scary. That was scary. Alright. <gasps> no! Hold on one second. Just give me like five seconds. Where'd I put this stupid thing? It's around here somewhere, right? Ah, here it is. Don't mind me, I just got a... Um, it's, um, it's a fight you unlock. I, I think it just was in an update because it came way later. Uh, I'm not sure if it's, like, in the demo, though, is the thing. I think it might be just a, a, a full game thing you have to do. Which is a shame because this is, like, one of the coolest parts of the entire game. You probably, you probably play it when I uh, do it on Friday when I have, remember, I don't know if Hedgehog Scramble is, is allowed in the demo. I hope it is, because Headlock Scramble's sick. Because, um... Oh, no. Okay, cool. So... I'll probably have that on Friday. We'll play that a little bit, because Headlock Scramble's sick. <gasps> Jesus. Just let me in. No! Oh god, come on. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Mm. Yes! No! <laughs> Damn it! What do you mean, what if? She's probably already in there! Oh. God, this guy. I forgot how tough this guy was. Alright, let's try that again. Oh, God. That's why Luck is the strongest grab in the game. Like the absolute strongest. Oh no. Get out of my healing. Huh. Come on. Huh. So it's gonna get in his face a little bit. Oh, but it's so hard trying to do that. Because what I'm trying to do when I'm in the air, I'm trying to kick the arms back. Down! God, that does so much stupid damage. Oh, he didn't block that time. Sick. Ah, oh, six grabs. Okay. No, it's three grabs. Six grabs. Three grabs. That'd be sick. I'd love to see a fighting game like that. That'd be, that would rule. That would really be cool. Oh god. Max Brass is already scary because he's a mix of, um. What's it called? He's a mix of Master Mummy and Springman. So he has that, he has that wave, which, which repels arms, which is infuriating. I remember when Max Brass was, like, really hard. Like, around the, one of the first. Uh, things in the game, but like now it's like way easier by comparison. Oh, okay, yeah, he's gone. He's gone. He's cooked. He's cooked. 
I'm cooked. Oh. No! Got him! Whew. Oh. There we go. That ought to teach him a lesson. Yes, this creep is down for the count. Hold on, just use some intel. During a routine experiment at an arms laboratory, I expect what? That light, it's everywhere. Is Max gonna be okay? Huh? Whoa! It's gone. What was that thing? Where'd it come from? And will it be back? I wonder. I think it looked good in a mask. I'm in a let lately, style wise. But never mind that. How's Max doing? Oh, I was even worried. Look at that brass beast. That's a commish. Flex, he's flexing like nothing happened. Yeah, that, that's it. Let's get back to our regular schedule programming. Oh, look alive, people. The award ceremony is about to begin. Let's take a look at the final results. Now that could be a score worth celebrating. Can a new arms legend be in our midst? It kind of is. Um, who will be on the roster? Joy Fatone. Um... Definitely, uh, Brittany. God, she's so cool. The bell's headed home to the noodle house. Congratulations. As another arms grant for you, Charles will close. I'd like to thank all the competitors and fans at home. See you next time, folks. Super Rose Beyonce would be really good. You should also play, like, Guilty Gear. That'd be sick. God, that's so cool! Look at how cool this entire world is! Oh man, it's so cool. This is a good game. It's a really good game. And look at this victory art! It's so cute! Look at it! <laughs> this is so good! It really does! It really does! Hell yeah. For the first time? What do you mean? Cover 300 HP in one round. Skip show for the first time. People for the first time. Turned it's without sappy. 30 badges. 50 rounds. All the pillars at Temple Grounds were destroyed. 2,500 punches. Way to strong arm it. Wow. Look at this one. Hmm. Do I have the Min Min one? I don't. Pensive. I think we'll stick with that one. That one's fun. So check this out, right? You get more arms to playing this mini game. So let's pick Min Min, and we'll go with a long timer, cause why not? Maybe the last thing I do before I switch over to um, God, Link Between Worlds. <laughs> I I'm having brain problems right now. Oh God. So you get arms by playing this little mini game, which is really cute. I do wish it was a bit. There were other ways of doing it, but I guess there is one other way. You can do tournament mode, which is a code you put in, which lets it be in like versus mode. You can get all the arms. But I like the way this plays. It's fun. Also, you can get arms for the characters too in this as well. It's a fun game. Fun little game. <laughs> Finally, the Doom Eternal experience. The, the Doom 2016 experience. You gotta punch Dromas for upgrades. Ooh, hammers. Fun. Ba bat. Seekies. Hell yeah. There's one for Twintel. More Seekies. You know what's actually really interesting lore about Twintel? Apparently, in the arms world, there's no lore for um, arms to grow on their hair. So people are wondering does she have the arms gene? But if she doesn't, then how come she has the swirly eyes? Which is interesting to me. Because Mechanica pilots a mecha that imitates the arms gene, because he didn't have it. At least hasn't manifested in her yet, because he's pretty young. Other than Helix, who's like a, um... A, uh, a what's it called? Who's a science experiment, basically. Oh, and you can get duplicates in this as well, but... 
Fortunately, if you get duplicates in this game, uh, they're worthwhile. Oh, uh, that can actually happen in a headlock scramble. Any character can get him. Get headlock. Oh god, I'm not gonna be about Parasite. I, I forget that Parasite exists. Revolver. Homie. Oh, those are homies, not Seekies. Also, yeah, if you see here, you can upgrade your arms so they get up. They become plus. I don't know how far it goes. I think it goes up to like two or three. But uh, they get upgraded. The Whammer. Hydra plus. Ice Dragon. 4,000 years old. Wow. Sparky, crank up your game. These gloves are electric. Great for shocking and slaying opponents. These and the toes are the most popular arms. The buff. Great all-around arms that buff up big. Designed for an intro for curving arms. Many fighters now appreciate their straightforward abilities. Yeah, I will give you that. I will give you that. But it's it, if you find duplicates, it's not the worst thing in the world because you can get, like, upgrades. Sparky's Megaton. And that's it. All right. So that's ARMS. Really fun, cute little uh, Switch game. Really recommend it if you really want to play it, because I'm going to probably be playing it this Friday if you want to, like, step on in for some boxing. So uh, let's switch over to Link Between Worlds, why don't we? Before going back to Animal Crossing. So give me a minute here. Let me turn this off.